Hello everyone, Kony is here. Today we're flying from the Oxnard, California airport to the Los Angeles International Airport. I've switched from a Cessna 172 Skyhawk to a Cessna 208B Grand Caravan. This one seats up to 15 people. Let's just take a quick look. It's a much bigger airplane, drives more stably, um, very comfortable to fly. But I don't have a lot of practice, so we'll see how this goes. I've already set a flight level of 4,000. Unlike the 172, the autopilot controls are up here, but that's not hard to adjust to. Um, what else can I say about this? I've been having electrical problems with more than one plane, and I traced it to idling too slow. And so I'm making sure now to give it a little bit more gas when I'm sitting on the tarmac. Anyway, we are ready to go. And so let's take off the parking brake and get started. So I've flown this a few times successfully. In fact, the last time I stayed inside the cockpit the whole time, never went to an outside view and was able to land safely. So we'll see how this goes. I'm not used to all the characteristics, speeds, and whatnot, but it seems to be very reliable. Once we get altitude, we'll start getting some speed. And then I'm going to turn over to autopilot to take over navigation. Something's beeping on the other console. I don't know what that means. I've seen that before. Maybe it had to, having to do with the heading. So let's turn the autopilot on. All right. So that should handle that for us. I also want to rise to 4,000. So let's go turn flight level change on. Which is going to be right there. Sounds like a minivan. I guess it's, you know, 
essentially a gun for shuttling people around. Seems like it would do a good job doing that. Again, I'm running the Aurora R11 Gamer PC with uh, RTX 2080 Ti. I've got it overclocked, both core speed and memory. We're going a little fast, We've leveled off, so I'm going to pull back on the side. I've got the Alienware CPU and Intel CPU overclocked as well. Apparently, it's hard to tell. somewhere between 30 and 60 frames a second. This is full high def with all the graphic settings and all the traffic settings and optic settings all maxed out. I've been able to run this way in 4K, but it tends to go below 30 frame rate. It seems like there used to be a bunch of external views and they don't, they don't show up anymore for some reason. I'm not sure why. Alright, well we'll go back inside. Okay, I turned smart cam on. I wonder if that means it's going to auto-center if I move I get what that's what I was doing. Yeah, this is actually handy. Um, if I go up on the keep, keep, uh, keyboard, it doesn't change because we're still looking forward. This is a pretty nice alternative to looking outside. The, th the scary thing about landing not looking outside is you can't really tell where the wheels are, where the ground is. You just have to, you know, do your best to float and have a nice sent, uh, gentle landing. Alright, I'm going to go back outside. And it'll look drone a little bit. Oops. Drone speed up to 100%. Uh, why not? I'm really curious what this is over here. I've seen this water several times while flying in this direction. Wow, the detail is amazing. You can see the solar cells. Uh, you can see the sky reflecting off the water. Oh, this is interesting. And the water looks very realistic. Uh, if I can get the reflection going, the cars going by and stuff. Wow. Okay, all I have to do is hit the five on the numpad. And we're back at the airplane. That's kind of handy. Back to follow the If you want to take screenshots, 
this is the best way with the drone to get rid of all the vegetation. I don't know how to get rid of that marker. I think that's turn that off in the settings, but not from here. Wow, look at the fog. Ocean, you can see the fog hugging in the little canyons here. Very pretty. So we're flying into LAX, one of the busiest airports in the world. I've hey, flown in and out of there a few times. I was born in Southern Point California, so feels like home, I'm gonna go back there. SoCal approach KH-237, 4,000 feet. All right, so I go back inside. I want to go down to closer to 2,000. So I'm going to drop throttle. Exactly what's right below us. If I go outside, I can look down. The landing pattern is going to be out over the water. We're going to go perpendicular right into the airport. I finally traced it to 
Are you idling too slow on the tarmac? SoCal approach KH-237. Something Request clearance didn't happen before Bravo patch number two. So I'm sure that's part of added, added realism. Clear through the Bravo airspace. Cleared through Bravo airspace KH-237. So I watched the co-pilot fly this plane, and he put the flap down only part way. I think there's three stops, and he put it down only one one stop down. I didn't see if he went an additional stop. Los Angeles right Tower KH-237 is one one miles west with Golf to land. KH-237 Los Angeles Tower. Flight straight in runway six left. Altimeter, 2 9 decimal, 8 wind, 167 at 5. So we're going to need to lose a lot of speed. Fly straight in runway 6 left, KH 237. Ah, there we go. So let's head over there. At some point, I'll probably turn off the landing pattern guides, but. Listening to them verbally, I would really have no idea where to go, how to land, without studying the airport in advance. Uh, I guess that's another thing I could do, would be to read up on the airport. I feel like this will work, and then over time I'll understand better how to do it. Alright, so I'm happy with the speed. I want to get down closer to 70s towards landing. That's what I saw watch the co-pilot do. Let's look to our left, see what that looks like. Oops. A lot of water. Very nice. Plane field feels very stable compared to the 172. I'm sure it's a much heavier plane. It's got a much bigger engine, much larger fuel tank. It just feels a little easier to control because of all that extra momentum. passengers on board, this obviously wouldn't be that comfortable. Alright, I'm going to drop flaps again, drop the speed down, trying to get us down to a reasonable velocity here. I think it's going to want us to go below 75. So for a bit here, we'll burn off some potential energy, but then I'll have to give it some thrust. And we can dip up a little bit to take care of the speed problem.
So my plan is to line up the yellow arrows with the white horizon line, and I think that'll get me landing properly. As long as I'm lined up on the runway and close enough, going slow enough, I think I can land smoothly. I'll try that. I find it's a little easier with both hands on the stick. I do want to get a yoke at some point. I think that'd be a lot easier. Okay, we're dropping a little bit in speed. Let's give a little bit of thrust. I want to stay airborne the whole way down. high, so I'm going to actually drop thrust a bunch and kind of drop us down a little bit here. 500. And then just try to get nice and parallel to the earth. Without getting too close. It's difficult to tell how close I am, but I think I think that's a warning of some kind. Out. That would be a stall, probably, if I didn't have the flaps. So I feel like we're in good shape here. We're going to stall out right about the time we land, which will be fine. I just want to float above the one way a little bit and just kind of gently ease it down. Okay. All right, we're bouncing a little bit, but that was fine. I don't think that would have done any damage to the plane. Maybe the zigzagging I was doing might have, or the flap issue. I don't know how to see the flap setting inside. I'm going to have to figure out where to look for that. Um, oh, I guess it's down there. Okay. Anyway. Alright, we're going a little fast for taxiing. Let's slow down a little bit. combination of rudder and brake steering. Not sure exactly how fast we're going. Looks like it might be over the 20 knots limit. Okay. Alright, so now we are off the runway. One two one decimal seven five K H two three seven. Don't want to run out of battery power. I don't know if they have weak batteries in these things, though. No. All right, so now we want to contact ATC, tune to ground, and we want to taxi to parking. Los Angeles ground, KH-237, request taxi to I parking. I think the co-pilot will acknowledge automatically. KH-237, general aviation parking by taxiway Yankee, cross runway 24 left Yankee, Tango Tango, 1 Sierra Charlie. Taxiing to awesome. General Aviation Parking using Taxiway Yankee Cross Runway 24 Left Yankee Tango Tango 1 Sierra Charlie KH237. Alright, so let's head over to parking. You can see the famous Los Angeles Tower off there on the about, one, about uh, 11 o'clock. Uh, the iconic design. I think this may be one of the handcrafted airports. It would make sense. Okay, we're going too fast. Let's slow down. Right. I'd expect a lot more airplanes in the sky and stuff going on. Um, I think I have that stuff dialed up, but I may have dialed it back at some point while diagnosing the weird problems. Thirty frames a second is a little slow, but again this is on ultra, everything maxed out. I mean it's actually beyond ultra. There's some settings that are turned up even more. I just wanted to slam this card hard and see what it's actually capable of doing. Pedal steering is feeling pretty natural. Again this plane is bigger so it's more stable in general, more forgiving for wrong micro-adjustments. Can I look behind? No, let's see. I'd have to swing around, I guess. It's around. It's 
So my goal is to become a really good digital simulated pilot. And so part of that would be, you know, staying in the cabin while landing, which I've only done for the first time in the last couple of days. It was kind of scary the first time, but... Hold, okay. Um, Hold position KH-237. But, um, then I remember, of course, that the worst that happens is, you know, a digital plane crashes and you restart, so it's not a big deal. But I'm trying to keep up the realism to make it a learning experience as much as possible. Okay, there's the traffic, I guess. They haven't told us that we can go yet. I believe they will tell us when we're clear. Hold position. That was the traffic. KH-237, continue taxi. All right, cool. There we go. The, Roger, uh, KH-237. Baggage handlers or something. game used to warn me about things like that, but I got tired of seeing the warning uh, warning messages pop up, so I turned that all off. I'm a little surprised by the slow frame rate, but there's a lot of objects on the ground. I've, you know, like I said, everything maxed up, traffic on the ground, personnel on the ground, airplanes, everything, it's all maxed out to the top. And I'm not a power gamer. I don't have to have super high frame rate. I just don't want a lot of stuttering. I just want it to feel real. 30 frames a second or more is re usually good enough for me. Yeah, I can tell we're going a little bit fast again. Let's slow down. Got a nut much s quieter, smoother engine than the 172 Skyhawk. I must say I really like this plane. I didn't like it at first, but I just didn't understand it. I didn't know what the, where the throttle points were and things like that, but I'm really starting to like it. I do want to go up in planes over time in addition to, you know, trying to improve my skills. KH-237, hold position, caution, other traffic. So... KH-237, continue taxi. Oh, we can continue, okay. Um, so Roger, I started KH-237. In Concord, California, which is the closest airport to where I live in Pittsburgh, California. And I've done hops all the way down, and so now we finally made it to Los Angeles, which is sort of a major milestone. Uh, I might go on some kind of a pleasure flight. I guess I need to go around these folks. Uh, before heading on to the next leg, I have to decide, do I want to go down towards San Diego, Tijuana, you know, uh, Central... Central America, um, or do I want to continue going east? Oh, break. Um, do I want to continue going east into you know other parts of the U.S.? So I'm trying to make that decision. If anybody has any ideas, throw it in the comments. All right, so I'm trying to use brake steering here mostly because that feels kind of safe. You have to use a lot of engine power to make that work. And the rudder. He's telling me to... Okay, we should be good. Perfect. Parking brake. Shut the engine off. And personnel no longer needed. The engine takes a while to shut down safely. You hear it powering down. There we go. Turn off the plane.
And that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget, don't forget to share, like, and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video.